This is basically a clamp in order to put printed circuit boards in here to be able to solder them easily instead of chasing them around the bench. A few years ago, probably about three years now, I did a similar video to this, but that one used crocodile clips to hold the board and whilst it was okay I found it more of a nuisance than a help so I'm hoping this is going to be somewhat different the only thing this one doesn't have that the other one did have was a magnifying glass on it and also illuminated by of course what else but LEDs which I did find quite helpful I must admit but what I really needed was something that I could put a PCB in and solder it from. So what they've given us is some other pieces which have got rubber feet on, which is a much better idea. And the idea is it goes in like this. And that I think is going to be very secure. So I'll screw these on there and show you what it looks like all done. There we are, it's all assembled. It took me all of one and a half minutes. In fact, it took me longer to find the screwdriver than it did to do it. It's held in place with two Phillips screws here and here and the same on the other side. And you loosen the wheel here and you can slide the thing to suit whatever your PCB is. And the fact you can do it on both means you're not going to be sort of out of balance like that. You, you literally do this, undo that one, and bring it in, which would make it a very secure and nice clamp. So what's it like in use? Well, I've got a PCB here, and we're going to put it into the device. That fits in that side. And that fits in there. We'll do the clamp up. And we'll do the clamp up here. Be embarrassing this fell off now, wouldn't it? But this is live. I've not rehearsed this, so it would be interesting to see. Now I think that should just spin round. Yes, it does. Because you have on the side here a spung clamp and look at that absolute well nearly perfect I think that's a little bit hasn't quite got it adjusted quite right after a bit of fuffing about I've actually discovered how to use this now normally I would have done this and messed about with it off camera but the fact that I've taken it out of the box and put it directly on here for filming um, it's a bit of a learning curve. What you have to do in order to get this to work nicely is to pull the sides in so it's actually on the spring. So the spring is in effect pushing against the PCB and the same on the other side that you can't see on this shot. And then you can swivel the board around easily and it doesn't fall out. Now I have to say, on, on first inspection, I'm quite impressed with it. This piece here and the base is metal. Sadly, maybe, but this is plastic. Um, and I suppose that it's like everything else, it's built to a price. And the price I paid is on screen now. These are New Zealand dollars. And I have to say, it's cheaper to buy it from JCAR. Of course, you have to be in New Zealand or Australia. But if you buy it from AliExpress, you have to pay carriage, as shown here. So believe it or not, it's cheaper to buy it here in New Zealand, and I assume Australia, than it is to buy it from AliExpress. So. Well done, J-Car. Regards stability, I don't think there's any complaints there. It's got these rubber feet on the bottom. And 
certainly this is the kind of bench I'd be working on. Yes, on this particular printed board, it's a little bit more stable with this fixing like this rather than long ways. But I think it will depend on the thickness of the actual PCB as to which one that you'd use. This is a relatively thick board, more uh, thicker than the, you would normally get. So on this particular item, it seems to be more stable done like this. But either way, I'm, I'm happy with it so far and I think you will be. Needless to say, I'm not sponsored by this video. I paid for it out of my own money and you should know me by now if it's going to be rubbish I shall say it's rubbish but it's not it's good and uh, if you're looking for something like this I think you should probably go and buy one